All right, so we saw in the last video how we used HTMX to grab the chapters template and also the codex template, and we displayed those side by side on the outline page. And that was good, it's working, but we also grabbed the entire template, the header included and the footer in both cases. Now, what we'd like to do instead is just return a section of the template, this bit here for the chapters and this bit here for the codex entries without the header and without the footer at the bottom. So we're gonna use fragments in Laravel to do that. So let's open up the chapter controller to do this. And this right here, this index action is where we're returning this index view, right? And this is returning the entire view. So when we send that request using HTMX, we're getting that entire view back, but we can use a method on this called fragments. And then we can specify a name of a fragment. So for example, I could say chapter hyphen list, and then it's gonna look for a fragment in that view called chapter list and only send that back. Now we don't have that fragment created. So let's go to the chapters index page to make it. And what I'm gonna do is make all of this, I think, all of this from the div down right up until this closing div. I wanna make all of that a fragment. So to do this, we use the fragment directive. So at fragment, and then we give it the name that we just specified over here because that's the fragment it's gonna look for, chapter list. So let's place that in here, chapter hyphen list, like so. And then at the bottom down here, we need to end the fragment. So at end fragment. All right, so now when that request comes in, we're just gonna send this bit of template inside that fragment. Now, before we try this out, I'm gonna do exactly the same thing for the codex controller. So up at the top where we have the index action and we're sending back the index view, what I'm gonna do is tack on the fragment method. So fragment, and then this time it's gonna be the codex entry list, like so. All right, so let's go to the codex view the index one right here and create the fragment. And again, it's gonna be around about here, just above this div. So at fragment, and then it was called codex hyphen entry hyphen list. And then we need to end the fragment at the bottom down here. So at end fragment, like so. All right, so now if we close those views and open up the outline view, this index page right here, when we send these requests for those views, because on the controllers now, we're just sending back the fragments, we're only gonna get those smaller pieces of templates sent back and hopefully not the header and the footer. All right, and now in a browser, that does look a lot better. We're not getting the header on either of these templates or the footer, we're just getting what we need, the fragments. So that's awesome. However, there is a problem. If I now manually go to, for example, the chapters page, then we're only gonna get that fragment and it's not style because it's not inside the rest of the template. So we're getting a fragment because our controller is sending back a fragment no matter what, no matter whether it comes from a request directly from the browser when we enter in the address into the address bar and press enter, or if we're sending an HTMX request. So we need to somehow differentiate between the two and only send back a fragment if a certain condition is true. Now that condition is gonna be if the request is coming from HTMX and not directly from the browser. So we can use a fragment if method to do that. So to do this, all we need to do is come to the fragment method and we change this to fragment if. And now this takes in two arguments. The first argument is gonna be a Boolean. So true or false, for example, true. And the second argument is the fragment we wanna send back. So now only if this first argument is true, will we send back the fragment. If it's false, then we send back the entire view. Okay, so we're only sending the fragment if this is true. Now, obviously this is hard coded, so it's always gonna send back that fragment. But the idea behind this is that we would not hard code the value and this would be some kind of dynamic check to see if this is an HTMX request. If it is, then we would send back the fragment. If it's not, then we would send back the view, all right? So we'll do that in a couple of minutes, but before we do that, I'm going to just copy this. In fact, I don't need to copy it. I'll save the file and I will just change this manually and I'll say fragment if, and then right here, I'll do false, just so we can see the difference. So in this case, the chapters, we're gonna send back the full view because this is false. In the case of the codex entries, we're gonna send back just the fragment. So let's save this and try it out. 
All right then, so that looks good. Now over here, because the condition was true, we're sending back just the fragment. And over here, because the condition was false, we're sending back the full view. Okay, so now if I go to forward slash chapters up here, because we're sending back the full view all the time, well, we get the full website. But if I go to the codex, so forward slash codex, like so, then we're gonna get back just the fragment because that's hard coded to be true. We're always sending the fragment back. So like I said, we don't want this to be hard coded. We want to perform some kind of check to see if the request was an HTMX one or not. Now we can do that by looking at the request headers and I'm gonna show you this. Let me inspect and then go to the network tab. And then what I'm gonna do is just refresh the page over here. And now if we come up here somewhere and try and find, where is it? The chapters, this one right here. So if we look at this, and go to the headers. Let me just move this up a little bit so we can see a bit more. If we scroll down, then we should see a header somewhere. Where is it? Let me scroll down. We see this header, HX request, and that's set to be true. So inside the controller, we could look at the uh, request headers and see if it has this value of HX request set to be true. If it does, it means that it's an HTMX request and we can send back the fragment. If it's not, if it's false or if it's not there, then it means it's not an HTMX request and we're gonna send back the full view instead. All right then, so let's start with this codex controller. What I'm gonna do is first of all, accept the request argument in here, which is of type request. So let's do that. And then we need to look at the headers on this request. So first of all, let me enter down. And then I will say right here that we have a variable called is HTMX, and I'm gonna set that equal to the request. And then we will look at the has header function, and we'll look for the header called HX request. So HX hyphen request, right? So now if we make an HTMX request, it's gonna have this header right here. If we don't make an HTMX request, it's not gonna have that header. So if it exists, then this will be true. If it doesn't exist, it's gonna be false. So now we can just pass that value in right here, is HTMX. And now only when this is true, will we send back the fragment. If not, then we send back the full view. So I'm gonna copy this because we need to do exactly the same thing in the chapter controller. Let's accept the request first of all, like so. And then below this, we'll work out whether the request was an HTMX one. And then down here, we'll pass it in is HTMX. And again, only when this is true, will we send back the fragment. If it's not true, we send back the full view. Save it and hopefully this will all work. All right, so this is looking good so far. We have just the fragments on the homepage, which is good. We're sending that HTMX request. It's obviously recognizing that and sending back just the fragment. And now if we go to the chapters page directly, then we get the full view. So this is not an HTMX request. So that variable was false and therefore we send back the full view. The same should be true if we go to forward slash codex as well, which it is awesome.